Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I thought we'd take a look at the browser market share. We don't take a look at this very often, last time was many months ago. But the reason I want to do this is to see the difference that this could bring um, to the market of and the share of each browser with changes coming to Chrome this year. One of the things that companies, a lot of companies and a lot of, of, of makers of extensions um, are a little worried about is the fact that my, the uh, Chromium uh, and the Chrome team actually will be making changes to its manifest V3, which will be slowly pushed to Google Chrome and according to many might break things like ad blockers and certain other extensions. And one of the things we see is that for the last years, and I mean for the last many years, Chrome has been dominant. It's been up there in the 65 to 70 percent market share on Windows PCs for so long. And, um, you know, I often say it, I, I like the fact that there's different ecosystems in browsers. I know that for web developers, it's more complicated because if you have different um, engines working in different browsers, it often requires extra steps to uh, make compatibility of websites with other browsers. So having one, you know, common uh, basic Chromium browser um, is makes things a little easier for all yet the fact that there's only you know there's only firefox in here that is different from all the other browsers and uh that is for me that is a problem it's it's understandable that you know if there's a very very big security flaw in chromium it affects all of the browsers except firefox you know and not all browsers will update at the same speed so there's that security hazard in there and um it's fun to have, you know, a little bit of that diversity, I, I would say. So right now, only Firefox is the one that is maintaining its own engine. Um, and I like that. Uh, unfortunately, Edge moved from what it was with its own engine to a Chromium-based engine now. Um, what could be the change in market share from now to the end of the year if Chrome starts messing around with extensions and things that people like to use and what impact could it have in these numbers could it make Firefox great again in some way and that will be interesting uh, because Let's say that they implement this and that it goes across all of the uh, different browsers. By the way, Safari is on Mac. It's a different browser. It's not Chromium-based also, but it's only a Mac browser. that doesn't exist in Windows. So um, that's why I'm kind of ignoring Safari because it's not a Windows browser. Um, but that's interesting. Would, could Firefox gain from this? Um, and Manifest V3, could it actually get implemented in every Chromium browser? I guess it, it would, possibly. So I don't know. Um, this is interesting. And if that happens, what market share uh, downturn could it have? Because definitely if Chrome messes with things people like, people might tend, especially the enthusiasts first, I might start looking at, okay, what's out there that I can use that doesn't break what I like to use? So we'll see. Uh, but, you know, these numbers are, are crazy. I mean, Chrome is dominant. Edge, almost at 12%. Not really moving much. It's not really gaining that much. Uh, Safari at 9 but that's Mac computers. And and uh, we have Firefox at 76 uh, which used to have a much higher um, market share, but unfortunately, it's it's moved down a lot. It's lost a lot of its. Uh, uh, there was uh, several decisions and several things that happened with Firefox and Mozilla that that some users didn't like. 
But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I like the fact that the last one here is 360 safe, whatever that is. So uh, 65.3% in January. Be interesting to see what it looks like in mid-2024 um, and, and end of 2024 if all of what they want to implement comes through and that it creates some problems for some of the users with their extensions. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.